Let's turn to some sport now, and this weekend the All Blacks are playing Ireland in Chicago, and the Māori All Blacks are playing the American Eagles, also in Chicago. The city's a buzz, of course, with the Cubs winning baseball's World Series after a century-long wait, and rugby isn't even close in terms of public interest and media coverage, not even close. Our temporary Chicago correspondent, Chris York, took a quick sample of interest on his phone outside his hotel. Are you going to the game? The, you know, the I'm, not go, I'm not going to the game. I'm not going ah. to the game Saturday, but there's a charity dinner tonight ah, being right. sponsored by the Irish uh, by the Irish team. By the Irish. Oh, <laughs> do they play rugby too? I, I think so. <laughs> I think they're playing the All Blacks this Saturday. Yeah, You're right. Yeah, That's exactly. Good. You said you've heard of the All Blacks? Yeah. How, how have you heard of the All Blacks? Uh, they play rugby. Yeah. <laughs> I had a roommate from New Zealand. And uh, are you going to go to the, you know, the All Blacks are playing against Ireland? Uh, yeah, I, I saw that. I didn't know that it was in Chicago. I assumed they were yes, playing again. Yes, playing here in Chicago. Okay, w when is it? Uh, it's on Saturday. <laughs> okay, I, I, I look at the tickets. Okay. <laughs> I've been seeing the All Blacks play live. I was on a Lions tour in New Zealand. Oh, are you, are you going to come in uh, next year? I'll see. It's oh. probably a little far. But you've come to the game here now? I'll be at the game on Sunday. I'm here for the weekend to do a bit of work. Are you aware of like there's a team uh, called the All Blacks from New Zealand who are playing rugby? Uh, I think I'm quite sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> and do you know that like uh, in in the states they play rugby as well? Uh, not really. That man had no idea what rugby was. Chris York, our momentary uh, Chicago correspondent, talking to them. But the 67,000-seat venue for the game is sold out. And the number of people playing rugby in the U.S. has grown by 400% since 2004, fastest-growing team sport in the U.S. So this is a marketing exercise and a recruitment drive, and it's also a test match between Ireland and New Zealand. Can the Irish end the AB's record-breaking winning spell? Well, their fans are hopeful. Among them, Ragnar Almquist, who's Ireland's Vice Consul General in Chicago. Yeah, I'll be at Soldier Field on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be a really tremendous occasion, I think, sold out already and for some weeks now. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great game. Isn't that amazing? Ireland versus New Zealand and Chicago is sold out. Yeah, I think the, the game has really captured the imagination of, of people back home in Ireland, I know. Uh, and as far as I can tell, it's also captured the imagination of Chicago. So you might have heard we had a great uh, a great night here yesterday. The Chicago Cubs won the World Series for the first time in 108 years. But Ireland has never beaten New Zealand. So never is a lot longer than 108 years. <laughs> so, do you reckon there's a precedent there? Do you think this could be the weekend? Yeah, well, with any luck, we, we like to think maybe a little of the luck of the Irish rubbed off on the Cubs finally. So uh, it would be good if we got a little luck ourselves. We haven't been blessed against New Zealand over the last few years. Um, the last time we played you, you might remember, was in Dublin, 2013. And uh, I think we had a five-point lead in the last minute, close to our, your 22. And uh, you broke Irish hearts. Ryan Crotty crossed in the corner, really. Uh, three million people in Ireland were just gutted after that. Yeah, yeah, I think with good cause. I mean, you were up 19-0 at one stage in that game and you lost 24-22. That's heartbreaking stuff. Were you there that day? I was there, yeah, no, in the Aviva Stadium. So, and I'm sure many of those who were there at that time were going to be in Chicago on Saturday as well. So, we're looking so, forward, so to, lots looking of, forward to a rematch. Lots of people have crossed the Atlantic to come to come to the game, including I think you're on your way to the airport now to pick up a cabinet minister. Are you? Yeah, well, we're at, we're at the Air Force. We're waiting for our minister for transport, tourism, and sport, Shane Ross. So he's just about to come through the gate, and uh, he's one of many thousands of Irish people who've come over for the match. But we also have big support from Irish America. 34 million people across the U.S. claim Irish ancestry. So we won't have all of them in Soldier Field. But we'll have a certain percentage. <laughs> so if either side is going to have home advantage, is your sense that it will be the Irish? I don't know. I mean, I've, I've been walking around Chicago today. I've bumped into a lot of Kiwis, uh, all very confident. I know your team, the All Blacks, have been playing unbelievable rugby over the last few months. I mean, you're always awesome, but it seems to have gone up to another level since the World Cup. So, um, yeah, if we have home advantage, maybe we could do with every little bit of luck and support we can get. Gosh, what a generous opponent you are. So, so look, I don't know. I, the All Blacks are coming off a big psychological high, which was breaking the record of, of, of consecutive victories. It's at the end of a long season. I mean, these guys have been playing Super Rugby since February. If Ireland yeah. are ever going to do it, this weekend's a good time. Yeah, we hope so. I mean, we've, we've got a little bit of a run against the All Blacks, actually. 
our uh, ladies team beat the, the Black Ferns, I think, in 2014, ending a pretty dominant run for them in the World Cup. And our under-20s, you might remember, beat the, the baby Blacks, I think, uh, in the World Cup. I do remember it. Yeah, it was a cracker of a game, yeah. Yeah, it was brilliant. So we've got some great young players. Um, we're going to give it a, a really good shot. Uh, we're conscious of the level of opposition is just tremendous. But uh, I think it's going to be, I'm sure it's going to be a great game and it will be a great way of promoting rugby here in the U.S. That's our rugby correspondent, Ragnar Almquist, who also happens to be the Irish Vice Consul General in Chicago.